we have to talk about the number one thing that I see from people that keeps them in places of suffering, uh, depression, heartache. My friends, you have to stop acting like a victim. You have to. You have to stop thinking like a victim. You have to stop the victim talk, the victim mindset. This stuff is keeping you in messed up situations. Here's what a victim is. A victim is a noun. It's a person who is harmed, injured, uh, killed as a result of a crime, accident, or other event or action. Um, A person who is tricked or duped. Uh, Those are victims, right? So what you have to do at all times in life is be aware. Because if you're not aware, what's going to happen is you're going to exhibit the victim mentality. A victim mentality, uh, uh, the victim mentality is basically, it's a learned personality trait, right? It's something you learn. Uh, Basically, a person tends to regard themselves as a victim, the negative actions of others, and to behave as if this were the case, even if the lack of clear evidence or such circumstances. Uh, Victim mentality depends on habitual thought processes uh, and attribution. In some cases, those with a victim mentality have, in fact, been the victim of wrongdoing by others or have otherwise suffered misfortune through no fault of their own. However, such misfortune does not necessarily imply that one will uh, will respond by developing a pervasive and universal victim mentality where one frequently and constantly believes oneself to be a victim. Um, so I read that you can actually go find that via uh, Wikipedia. It's a pretty that's a pretty good definition of it. So here's here's the deal. There's one choice. You be a victim or you be a person in power. That's it. That's it. Be a victim or be a person in power. No one cares if you're gonna complain. If you wanna bitch about your life, nobody cares. The person that you're complaining about, claiming that they're doing all this stuff to you, you think they give a fuck about you? They don't. So why are you complaining to someone who's oppressing you? They don't care. And what happens is, yes, in some situations you are a victim of something, but you don't want to keep yourself a victim of whatever it is because everything that happens passes. So you let it stay here and you let it destroy you and you let it keep you from working out. You let it keep it, keep you from drinking water. You let it keep you from performing at your job. You let it keep you from getting the sleep that you need over and over and over. Every day it's a cycle. You go back to the source of pain. Why? Why do you go back to the source of pain? Are you going to change the source of pain somehow? Show me, show me what voodoo magic trick you have. Where a person, based on what you claim, who is consistently uh, putting you down, they're narcissistic, they're evil, they're vile, yet you keep going back. Show me how you're going to change this person. Show me what magic trick you have that's going to convince this person to treat you better. Why would they treat you better when you don't even treat you better? You are allowing yourself to be treated like shit because you don't value yourself. You clearly don't care about yourself. So let's stop the victim talk. Let's stop blaming people and let's find the true source of power. The true source of power is intrinsic power. It is the ability to look within every single time that you have the opportunity to blame another person. You have the same opportunity to be accountable, to take the power step and to say, hey, I'm not going to let this person do this to me. I'm going to step away from this situation. I'm going to walk away from this situation. Maybe you don't have enough money to live in a big house. You go get you a one bedroom apartment. You go get a studio. Oh, I need their car to get to work. No, you don't. Walk. Use Uber. Get on the bus. Stop making excuses for toxic situations. It is much easier to walk away from toxic situations than a lot of people say. Now, look, when there's kids involved, that's a different situation. If there's no kids, why are you staying? What are you doing? 
if there's kids involved, you got to be logical. You got to be smart about it because you got to put your kids in the right situation. You th do you think your kids are dumb? Do you think they don't know what's going on? You think your kids who are humans, who have instincts, who have intuition, who have awareness, who have knowledge, who have eyes, who have the senses. Do you think that they don't identify the toxic situation going on between their parents? So where does the buck stop? I mean, are you guys... Are you going to continue the toxic situation, setting that example for your children so then they can continue the toxic situation? Or are you going to realize that you and this other person deserve better? Stop blaming them. They deserve better too. There's got to be a reason for it. There's got to be a reason for the madness. So both of you stop putting each other down. Stop oppressing each other. Stop being mad at each other. Use logic and common sense. Hey, we are not good for each other. We probably do care about each other, but just because you love someone or you care about someone, that doesn't mean you have to be with them because love doesn't hurt. Love isn't love doesn't live inside of a person who has to walk around every day with a victim mindset, who has to walk on eggshells, who's who's fearing for their life, who's always scared. That's not love. That's toxic. That's toxic. This is your life. It's up to you to make a difference in your life. No one is here to save you. It's up to you. Talk like a victim and keep getting the same things you've always gotten. Talk like a person in power. And then when you talk like you're in power of your own self, you transform. You won't stand for certain things. You'll walk out of negativity. You become a more conscious, a more aware, a more proactive person. There's enough reactiveness. Be proactive. Take the steps you need to put yourself in healthy situations. And if you don't, listen to me. And if you don't take the steps you need to put yourself in healthy situations every single day of your life, don't complain about the toxic, don't complain about the negativity, don't complain about the things that are oppressing you and bringing you down if you are not proactively creating change, creating positivity, creating possibilities, creating a new life. If you are not creating, if you are not manifesting, don't complain about it. Deal with it because it is your choice. At the end of the day, it is your choice. At the end of the day, it is your choice. At the end of the day, it is your choice to participate in this situation.